Toast notifications, you know, those little messages that keep popping up on so many web apps to represent either error or success or loading states. Those are the same things that are really, really good for a good user experience. And now there's a new kid on the block. His name is Sonner 1.0. It released just about two weeks ago. And the installation is as easy as installing the dependency, importing some stuff, including the toaster anywhere on your app, and you're all good to go to render out beautiful toast notifications. And to make them even prettier and colorful, you can simply add one word and that is rich colors to your toaster component. And just like that, they look much better. The main two packages that people use to render out toast notifications in React is one, React Hot Toast, and then B, it's a UI library called ChatCN built-in toast component. In a way, I really think that Sonder 1.0 combines the best of both worlds, of React Hot Toast and of ChatCN's built-in toast component. Let me show you what I mean by that. Now, what does the best of both worlds even mean? In the first place, that's it matches the aesthetic of the UI library I usually use. And that is Shadzi and UI, that's what it's called. Very minimalistic, very clean UI library. And React Hot Toast, I feel like with these playful icon animations, the text and whatnot, I feel like it doesn't really match that style. Even less so React Toastify with these really playful emojis and animations and whatnot. Of course, you can customize these, but out of the box, this doesn't match the aesthetic of the UI library at all. But they do have a very familiar, very natural API where you can literally import the toaster, show it anywhere on the screen as I showed you earlier, and then render out a toast.error, a toast.success to depict the appropriate states. Shatsy and UI gets it right the other way around. It matches the aesthetic, of course, because it is literally part of the UI library that I like to use. The familiar API, not so much. Not only do you have to destructure the toast function each time you want to use it, which is just a minor thing, but the Toast API itself is very different to what we know from React Hot Toast with just a toast.success. Very straightforward. In here, you have way more options because nothing is really abstracted away. That is not inherently bad at all, right? It does allow for more customizations, but it is a bit more work to get going with each toast. And I'm not even sure if it supports a promised toast. There was a GitHub issue for this. I really hope they implemented that. Anyhow, that is why I feel like the API is not as familiar. And Zoner, combines the best of both worlds. It is literally the exact same API as React Hot Toast as we know it, with the toast.success and toast.error and whatnot, so we can literally change up the imports, but the syntax is all the same. And it matches the aesthetic of the UI library you know, maybe even better than the UI library itself. Anyways, it looks really, really good. If we hover over it, we can see all of them pop up. And as I teased in the very beginning of the video, just by adding one line, this rich colors right here, or one word, we can make them include colors that look so much nicer, at least I feel like, than before, in both the success and also in the arrow state, just like this. Now, if you're anything like me, you don't just accept the fact that it looks good and works out of the box. I was wondering, how does this actually work under the hood? And the answer is surprisingly easy. So each toast knows that it's rendered based on a use effect inside of that toast that literally just sets a state that is mounted to true. And that is then passed into the div as an attribute. Now, the interesting thing is when a toast is rendered, the toaster will be notified and then literally just map over the toasts that are in the state and display them in an unordered list. I just found that really interesting and wanted to share it with you. And there's one library that works especially well, I feel like, with toast notifications. And that is React Query. The reason is, as long as you define any function to fetch data from any API endpoint inside of the mutation function, you can use the on success and on error callbacks to beautifully render out the appropriate toast notifications. For example, if the error code is like a 409 call, conflict, you can render out a toast to reflect that. If there's another error code, like a 422, you can render out the appropriate toast to handle that. And lastly, if none of the above error codes matches, then you can always fall back to a default toast error. Of course, that is not specific to Zoner. That works with any toast library out there. I just found this integration between React Query and a toast notification library to be really good. Anyways, just wanted to share that. I really enjoyed this toast notification library and I hope you do too. That's gonna be it from me for this video. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.